know more about gas pressure, gas meters, regulators, what you can find in the field when you have no gas pressure coming to your gas valve and you're trying to set gas pressure. Today's video is all about gas meters and gas pressure. I'm Tad, you're watching Tips for Technicians. Let's get started. Gas company just left the house that I'm at. I wanna to talk to you about something that I don't usually run into and I had to call the gas company out because I thought I had an issue with the regulator. It turns out I did. I'm gonna show you what that regulator looks like and then talk about what they did and what I had as a gas pressure coming into my gas valve. This right here is the regulator and they had to adjust this in. You can see right there, you can actually put a tool in here. You can actually use a flathead screwdriver on one side of this and turn it. And they had to adjust it because the pressure coming in, of course, is 40 and then it goes out and it's usually less than a pound. It's around seven to eight inches. It was only three inches, two, three inches coming out of the regulator. So I had to call the gas company because I knew it wasn't the pipe size. I knew there wasn't a blockage. There was gas coming to the gas valve. There just wasn't enough. And this right here is a gas valve. And you're going to see me check the inlet all right and the outlet that says out p this says np and i only had three inches coming in and i only had like two inches coming out so on natural gas we need to be burning at three and a half inches i don't usually run into a regulator need to be adjusted in the field and this is not something that you want to touch especially if this is to do with a gas company and you know propane is a little bit different if you got a regulator on your house and it's not on the tank, then you could adjust it if you're licensed, if you're professional. But on this, this is the gas company's meter, this is the gas company's regulator, okay? Let's go to the job. So this right here is the gas meter. It measures the amount of gas that goes through this meter that's used. This right here is the regulator. How do you adjust the regulator? Now, commonly, you would never touch this and adjust this regulator, but you may have a propane regulator and you may have to adjust that always seek professional help if you do want to adjust a regulator this is the gas company's regulator so i'm not going to touch it but this right here is the cap and you can take it off and you can adjust by turning in you can increase the pressure turning out you can decrease the pressure this right here is a little vent if you ever smell gas could be coming from this if you're outside and you're at your meter this right here is the riser right this is the riser we should have around 40 pounds a pressure coming in and this right here is our shutoff and then after our regulator we reduce the pressure below a pound to about eight inches this is for natural gas it's about seven or eight inches minimum water, water column that should be coming in to my gas valve so this is the outside meter this is the gas line that goes in to the house this is three quarter normally it's one inch and you have an l you drop down with your l and you have a drip leg and then from your drip leg with your t and your drip leg then you can go out to whatever you have inside your home but usually you have one inch and you have an l so it would go out then go over go down you'd have your drip leg and then from your t you would run along the brick wall and then go inside so you should have 40 pounds coming in you should drop down to around eight to seven inches of water column and then at our gas valve we should have around seven inches Let's go take a look at the furnace. We're gonna look at the inlet pressure coming in from our meter to the gas valve here. We're gonna check inlet pressure. We're gonna see what it is. Normally, you have a minimum of seven inches for natural gas. You have a minimum of 11 inches for propane. And the only two things that can cause the gas pressure to not be high enough is the gas meter's regulator not being adjusted properly or the pipe size and length. And if you want to know if the pipe size and length is right, then what you'll do is you will reference a pipe sizing chart, which I can show you by the time this video ends, we'll go check out a pipe sizing chart. I'll give you an example of how you can find out how many BTUs a pipe will carry. So, so we check the inlet pressure coming into the gas furnace. This is a 100,000 BTU furnace and our inlet pressure measuring with our manometer dual port manometer is 6.77 so we're almost seven inches of water column coming into our gas valve checking the inlet it's important to have at least seven on the minimum coming into your natural gas gas valve 
so that you can actually burn at three and a half inches of water column. If you don't have the amount that you need for the inlet, you won't have the proper amount for the outlet. For propane, you'd have 11 to 13 inches coming in and then you'd be burning 10 inches on the outlet. So we're checking the inlet here. You can see where the gas line comes in. This is the inlet port. Now we're gonna put our connection for our manometer on the outlet port and watch it burn. One other thing I wanna mention is this gas line right here. You can see it's three quarter, then it goes to half inch, has a shut off and then a flex hose. Sometimes the flex hose will produce a pressure drop. And I've also had a situation where the gas, the velocity going through that pipe, going to that flex hose will end up causing a noise. It's like a whistling noise. And I've had to uh, take and replace that flex hose and make it a larger size so that you don't have that whistle. You don't have that sound. So that's something you run into. All right. So let's see what our inlet or our outlet pressure is now. Three, nine, three, oh, four way too high so if you want to learn more about adjusting gas pressure check out my playlist HVAC tips for technicians we're going to go ahead and turn this out a little bit so we're going to adjust the pressure back down to three and a half see that almost there three and a half inches is what we want on the outlet There we go. Perfect. All right, got the right pressure now. So now we're gonna look at a pipe sizing chart. I'm gonna show you online and also a book that I have that you can use. Let's go ahead and take a look. So this right here is the International Fuel Gas Code. And you can see we have a few different pages here for different types of tubing like semi-rigid tubing and you've got your actual foot right here okay so say 40 feet and then one inch so we have sizes here from one inch two inch three inch and it'll tell you capacity in cubic feet of gas per hour and you have to look right here is it natural gas and what pressure are we dealing with but this is a great chart to use to be able to figure out capacity for the feet and the pipe size. Now, I'm gonna go online here and you can see in the search bar, I typed natural gas pipe sizing chart. We got a little uh, pipe sizing chart here. We can see if we do 30 feet of three quarter inch, we'll have 129,000 BTUs. So one inch, 224,000. You can see as the pipe size increases, so do, does the capacity and the BTUs that it will actually push. So wanted to show you this. We're gonna close out the video here in a minute. There's a few books that I use daily. The International Plumbing Code, 2012 International Fuel and Gas Code, and then also the International Mechanical Code. You wanna know more about using these books then you need to check out my playlist, HVAC Tips for Technicians. I use these books to be able to take my CMC, get my contractor's license. If you want to know about how to get your contractor license, check out my playlist. I've got a video on that. I want to give you another great example of why knowing pipe sizing is super important if you're an HVAC technician and you plan on offering plumbing services like gas line installations. This was a brand new furnace, and since I knew pipe sizing, I already knew by process of elimination and measuring that pipe and checking the size that that wasn't my issue. So that's one reason, but another example is you are putting together a quote for a new uh, homeowner, a new customer who's building a house, and you're the one that's going to be running the gas line. Well, you have to know how many BTUs you have, like if you have a stove and you have an on-demand hot water heater, and then you have a set of gas logs in that same home with your furnace, you have to know how to calculate how many BTUs you're going to be serving for that home and then what your pipe size and length needs to be. So it's a great thing to know pipe sizing. Pipe size matters when it comes to the amount of BTUs that you expect to have and also the length matters. This is half inch, this is three quarter, this right here is one inch. Commonly in the field, you're gonna find half inch, three quarter, 
one inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, up to two inches. Hope you learned something on today's video about gas meters, gas pressure, and gas regulators. Let me know what you learned. If you did learn something in the comment section below, if you didn't learn something, that's okay. Just let me know who you are and where you're from down there. Don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe, and that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. Stay tuned for more videos. If you want more, check out my playlist. You've been watching Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.